What's up, guys? MTG DC here. Uh, we got my buddy David over here. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? And we're going to open Core 21. So this set has a lot of goodies in it. The value on things is still fluxing. It's still brand new. So we're a little unsure about that. But nonetheless, there are a lot of fun cards in this. There's a new Teferi, a new Liliana. You have a Grim Tutor. Grim Tutor reprint. Lots of good stuff in here. So I guess we'll just take pack by pack until we're even. Sounds good, dude. I'll take that one. So, now we've got that, we'll go ahead and get started off. Well, I'll start off with the jump start because I'm not going to get into this set. I, it's just not worth the pulls. It, it's fun if you're doing drafts with friends and stuff. It's already a preset. You just put two packs together and go, basically. So, it changes the, the scenarios and everything, yada, yada. But, yeah. There are some good singles in here. It's just I don't really suggest trying to pull pack for pack out of these to get those. Just buy them. Yeah. Put some nice little bonus from the card shop, though. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So. This is the well red. Blue. So we got Ormos, Archive Keeper as our rare. And then Tolarian Kraken, some Curiosity. Straight into the commons. And yours probably won't be worth anything. And your basic commons. So yeah, basically it's just a little like pre-made set. You buy two, take these off, slap them together, shuffle, and then you have your 40 card deck. Okay. Core 21, first pack. Got the token. Land. And we have a foil discontinu- I have a foil mythic on the first pack. Dang, bro. That's a good pull. Okay. And then we have Ruined Halo as the rare. Okay. Nothing really going on there. Won't go into that. Okay. Starting off strong, dude. That's pretty good. Oil discontinued. As long as it's your turn, the spell costs four or less, basically. And you can end the turn. That's cool. Sanctum of all. That is interesting there. It's 
interesting zombie creature there. That's part of the new uh, color they might be trying to push with the black, I think. crazy and then we have containment Prius flash if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast exile it instead okay Ooh. they brought back Tormod's crib huh. did not know that slightly off-centered <laughs> okay new lands. Spark Hunter or Masticore? Foil hooded blight fang. Three foils in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Baron, Talarian Archmage. When it enters the battlefield, return up to one other target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hand. At That's the beginning of your end step, if a permit was put into your hand from the battlefield this turn, draw a card. Not bad. Sub in all of my lands now. My dragon deck. Solom Simarkum. Pretty interesting for a golem. Okay. It's funny, I think you've gotten all these lands and I've gotten all the foils so far. <laughs> Dude, I'll take it. Like, I'm going to re my lands now. Dismal Backwater. And we got a Maze Mind Tome. I think that was your weakest pull so far. Alright. Well, this one feels a little fatty. Maybe I actually got a foil for once. <laughs> Embrace. Good for a demon deck. Okay. Zombie. Swamp. And we got Thieves Guild Enforcer. Flash. Whenever Enforcer or another rogue enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent mills two cards. As long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, Thieves Guild Enforcer gets plus two, plus one, and has Death Touch for a one drop. Not bad. Dang. That's definitely a one power card right there, bro. Bro, I'm nice. telling you, I'm Those are good. definitely gonna be upgrading my land base. Let's scoot this down here. 
And we've got Sublime Epiphany. Choose one or more. Counter target spell, counter target activated triggered ability, return target non lane permanent to its owner's hand, create a token of that co that's a copy of the target creature control, target player draws a card. Wow, nice. talk about options with that one. Pretty cool. Blood Glutton. And we got a Temple of Triumph. That's not the best lands. I think they could have thought of a better idea there than to just bring back the temples again. Yeah, I, mean, but... I like the Scry lands, but they're kind of weak when they enter tap. That's true. Uh, I mean, I'll take the nice art cards over that for sure. <laughs> Finally, a foil core man on common. And then Sandra's Incinerator. The spell costs X less to cast. Where X is the amount of non combat damage your opponents, you dealt to your opponents this turn. Trample one over source you control deals non combat damage to an opponent. Sandra's deals that much damage to target creature. Planeswalker player controls. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> so we got Soldier Token, Rugged Highlands. Jessica Elder has prowess. I haven't seen prowess in a little while. Whenever it deals combat do it damage to a player, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Hmm. That'd be nice. <laughs> and I, I just okay. Come on, bro. You got most of foils. So no, far. you you talk shit on <laughs> the triumph, and you get triumphed, <laughs> bro. Double temple. Wow. Okay, I'll, I'll stop talking bad about you. <laughs> that might be in your best interest. <laughs> nice. Mm, interesting. I've been looking for the goblins out of this set. Play the top card of your library. You may cast a goblin spell from the top of your library as long as the top card of your library is a goblin card. Conspicuous Snoop has all activated abilities of that card. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Pretty good. I need that for the goblin dick. Alright. Angel. Planes. And we got Peer into the Abyss with the many, many, many. Faces. Target player draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and loses half their life. Rounded up each time. Dang. And you got a witch's cauldron, and yeah. Read the tides and one of those temple cars. Oh boy. Well, let's see how tides make in return. That's cool. Shacklegeist can only block creatures with flying. Tap two untapped spirits you control. Tap target creature you don't control. 
two for, for one. Okay. Emancipation. Okay, we got a mythic. If a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals triple that damage to that permanent oh. or player instead. All right. Dude. A nine drop, though. Or, sorry, six drop. Overthought that. Still, that could be really good. Definitely. Meteorite. Okay. All right. Back here. Let's swamp. Transmogrify. Exile target creature. That creature controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. That player puts the card, that card, onto the battlefield and shuffles the rest into their library. Pretty cool. Backwater, and we got Karavik, the Spiteful. Other creatures get negative one, negative one. All right. Would that kill one one creatures? Yes, it would. Tokens yeah. wouldn't happen if they were one ones. Yeah, that's one way to cock block something, man. <laughs> <laughs> my pre-release back too. Legit, legit. We got the soldier. We got one of those forests. And we got Azusa, Lost but Seeking. That's pretty decent. Nice. You may play two additional lands on each of your turns. Not a bad hit. Not at all. Not a bad deal. That mana ramp going. All right. Ooh, Rod Rod, Heart of the Keld. As long as it's your turn, um, you get first strike. You may look at the top card of your library at any time, and you may play lands from the top of your library, and then they tap four in a mountain and forest. Um, this creature gets plus X plus X until the end of your turn where X is the number of lands you control. Damn, that's a strong card. Necromentia, three drop. Choose a card name other than a basic land card name. Search target opponent's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library, then creates a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token for each card exiled from their hand this way. Sounds like a really good standard card. Yeah, for sure. Floor scale Kotal, I used to run him. Pretty good with uh, Traxa. Get some plus ones on it, and it really goes off. 
Still haven't seen any mythics yet. Ooh, Teferi's Ageless Insight. If you would draw a card, except the first one you draw each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. I just like the way that card looks. Actually, that is uh, the showcase. That is legit. It's a showcase rare. Being, see how the oval is a circle? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's uh, the giveaway for a showcase. Pretty legit. Got a bird. A bird. Mountain. We got a foil basic island. And wow, I'm really loving these doubles, guys. <laughs> Hooking me up. Bro. Ha. <laughs> huh. Hope you me. caught that sarcasm. I feel like a double mythics. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm all for that. Let me pull two mythics out of the next four packs. Oil common. Nine lives. Dude, I just love the way that looks. Hexproof. Um, if a source would deal damage to you, prevent that damage and put an incarnation counter on nine lives. When there are nine or more incarnation counters on nine lives, exile it. When nine lives leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Ooh. Run that in Solemnity. Solemnity, you can't gain counters. So you just be able to not take damage. That's pretty legit. There you go, a little combo for you guys. Womble combo. Zombie. Jungle Hollow. Okay, Massacre Worm. And we got him in a borderless mythic too. Dude. Wasn't expecting a full art like that. That's cool. Okay. You know that's worth something. Uh, I'll put that with the mythics. It is rightfully... And I got a rare? What? Yeah, okay, so I guess they put those in slot for foil in some cases. That's pretty tight. Primal Might. Target creature you control gets plus X plus X until end of turn. Then it fights up to one target creature you don't control. That's not bad. Not at all. Okay. Wait, what does Massacre Worm do? When the worm enters the battlefield, creatures your opponent's control get minus two, minus two in, until end of turn. And whenever a creature an opponent control dies, that player loses two life. Wow, talk about insult to injury, man. <laughs> okay. This one hell of a worm. You don't usually see them in the swamp variety that's for sure discontinuity I don't I feel know. Like we're all getting some discontinuity <laughs> yeah And we got Feline Sovereign. Other cats you control get plus one plus one and have protection from dogs. <laughs> Whenever one or more cats you control deal combat damage to a player, destroy a, up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. The flavor text, dogs beg, cats lay claim. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that like old movie from when we were kids, uh, Cats vs. Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool, So cool.
And then, okay, another foil comma. That kind of looks pretty cool. Ooh, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but all right. <laughs> When you draw your second card each turn, create a 2 2 green cat creature token. Pay 4 into Forest until the end of your turn. Creatures you control uh, have base power and toughness of XX, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Damn, okay. Really pushing the cat and dog theme in this set this time around. Final two. I mean, you really haven't seen Cat since Amon Cat, so I mean, true. Forest, Anointed uh, Chorister, one drop with lifelink, it's a 1-1, one, one. you pay 5, and it gets plus 3, plus 3 until end of turn, that's, eh. Speaking of Maze Mind Tome, I got another one of those, okay. <laughs> Two Sanctum cards. Yeah, I'm just missing the island now for all those new lands. That's what I need. <laughs> Speaking of doubles, top <laughs> common. Did you get any of the new looking lands yet? Uh, only like one. Damn. Alright, let's see here. Terror of the Peaks. Ooh, dragon. Okay, I like the sound of that. Flying. Spells your opponent's cast that target Terror of the Peaks cost an additional three life to cast. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. Damn. That is okay. nice. Not too shabby. I don't know. I might roll that in the dragon deck. Final pack, guys. Sap rolling. There's an island. Oh, okay. Oh, you got the island. I see. <laughs> and then we got a Joriel, some kind of recluse. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try to pronounce that. I just pulled that one too. <laughs> and a prismite. They reprinted prismite. Okay. All right, last pack. Let's see what we got here. Can I get an island? Can I get a foil? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Fabled Passage. Yes. That's not bad at all. There I know go. that's a good card. That's a good reprint. Cool, cool. Alrighty. Well. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stay tuned and please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I want to give away cards. Just saying. <laughs> um, All right. Hey, it was good being part of your channel again, bro. Hopefully, we'll be cracking some packs in the future. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys.